Last week was really hard. I had every intention of filming a dreamy day in the life vlog about my first week back to school and how I managed to make it all work, but sometimes life just throws you curveballs. In the middle of setting up my camera equipment, my tripod toppled over and my camera landed on its side. So now it's stiff. It only goes from pretty much from like 17 to 18 millimeters now. I can't do any more than that. This is no longer straight. It kind of, if you can see, it comes out crooked. So the lens is Okay, now. Oh, you can kind of see them more. Took me a while to pull myself together, and I managed to finish my yoga session. It did clear my head a little bit, but I was still freaking out inside. After that, I went online, found a used lens for a pretty affordable price, googled the website's legitness, and then I pulled the trigger. However, according to my boyfriend, I am now a legit videographer because I broke my equipment. So there you have it, folks. I'm a real videographer. A little bit later, I got myself back in work mode because, well, I have to because I have online classes today. This is only the first week of school and I can already feel the weight of the semester and it's going to be a heavy one. In preparation for clinical starting in a month, I'm taking this ambulatory provider course which teaches you how to chart on the EPIC system. EPIC is basically a computer program that centralizes all patient information. Think Excel but for healthcare. I'm quite familiar with the EPIC system since I use it as a nurse at work, but there is a lot of differences when it comes to the provider charting side. The lecture was very good, but it was definitely a very long four hours. Next day, I have class again, but this course is advanced practice, which is probably the most important class in my grad school because this is where I'm learning how to diagnose diseases and patient conditions writing soap notes, and just mastering those common problems that bring patients into the clinic or urgent care setting. Basically, the meat and potatoes of my entire program. I love my professor this semester. She's so smart and lectures so well. I feel like that's such a rare find, and I'm so lucky to learn from her. Her lectures always gets me so motivated. So after class, I rushed over to Target for a quick stop and got myself some flashcards. Learning diseases is definitely just repetition and pattern recognition, so now I'm going to quiz myself every day. Next morning, I still got up super early, even though I have no classes today. I've been really enjoying these early mornings where I feel that I have more time for myself. I start the morning off with some hot lemon water and I'll just do some simple things like tidying up my kitchen or work on my scripts for my videos. It's never too complicated, but I just love having this extra time to myself. It almost feels like I cheated time and got a head start ahead of everyone and that just feels very nice.
got a yoga sesh in and then also did some light reading and studying before we head out for a quick lunch date. We got some fancy sushi for lunch and then after that we popped into this cutest bookstore and also got some coffee. Even though this semester is going to be super busy, I actually feel really good about it and I'm super excited for everything I'm going to learn. Stay tuned for more studying and productivity contents and guess what just came in the mail? And with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.